At 13.30 on January 11, 2024, on the sea near Haiyang, Shandong, China, the launch vehicle called Gravity One ignited and took off from the launch ship. It would carry three Yunyao One satellites smoothly into the predetermined orbit, and the flight test mission was a complete success. This launch is a sign of takeoff in China's aerospace history. How strong is this rocket? China's sea launched solid launch vehicle with the world's largest capacity. As a result, foreign media pointed out that the U.S. Space Force had completely tracked it. What happened? Indeed, the strength of this rocket cannot be underestimated, and it is also of extraordinary significance to China. In this video, let us learn more about it. Yes, this is the world's largest solid launch vehicle with the highest capacity launched from China, and it can be regarded as creating a new history in China's aerospace research. The rocket was launched on January 11th in the waters near Haiyang, Shandong, China. After a loud noise at sea, a Chinese rocket took off. This launch was not only successful, but also sent three satellites into the intended orbit. Since this is the first flight, don't be surprised if you see one stone and three stars. When taking the lead, everything is unknown, so it can be said that big rockets, small launches, are mainly used. If you use some side words for this rocket, it is really overkill because its strength far exceeds this launch capability. So how strong is Gravity 1? According to disclosed information, the Gravity 1 launch vehicle adopts a three-stage semi-solid bundled configuration. The height is about 30 meters, the diameter of the fairing is 4.2 meters, and the diameter of the core stage and booster are both 2.65 meters. The takeoff weight is 405 tons, the takeoff thrust is 600 tons, the low Earth orbit carrying capacity is 6.5 tons, and the 500 km Sun synchronous orbit carrying capacity is 4.2 tons. Compared with the four stage solid launch vehicle Vega C developed by ESA, the world's most powerful solid rocket currently in service, Gravity One's takeoff mass is 195 tons higher and its takeoff thrust is 141 tons higher. During the research process, multiple world records were set. For example, it has created many records such as the world's largest solid launch vehicle with the largest takeoff thrust, the world's first fully solid bundled, solid core stage plus solid booster force, launch vehicle. So, this round of rockets is pretty good. Moreover, as mentioned above, for Gravity 1, killing three stars with one stone is overkill. According to the disclosed situation, it can not only support the 30 satellites in one arrow of 100 kg class satellites and facilitate the efficient advancement of constellation networking work, but can also launch small cargo spacecraft and ultra-large satellites weighing 3 to 4 tons. It provides a solution for the realization of rapid emergency launch of China's medium-sized launch vehicle. At the same time, it has the capability to achieve rapid emergency launch within 24 hours at the earliest. The unit launch cost is more than 50% lower than that of small rockets, and it can be launched once a week. If there are more launch ships, the number of launches per week can be further increased. If there is a launch ship every day, then maybe once a day is no problem. Therefore, this is completely capable of building a Chinese star network. Do you think this kind of rocket is strong? It is definitely strong. Although compared to the rockets of some countries, it is indeed not enough to compete, but after further improvement and expansion of its strength in the future, its strength will inevitably be stronger. Therefore, it is good to admit the gap, and the most important thing is to continue working hard. During the launch mission, 
Foreign media said that China's Gravity One carrier rocket broke China's commercial launch record and became the most powerful rocket. After China's DFU-15002 mobile offshore platform took off, the ignition of the solid rocket motor produced a large amount of exhaust gas and debris apparently fell into the rocket. Later, the U.S. Space Force Space Domain Awareness System tracked and completely tracked it. It also pointed out that the orbit of this mission has an inclination of 478 by 499 kilometers and an inclination of 49.99 degrees. The United States is tracking China's satellite launches again. Although this is not a big deal, the United States tracks China's satellites from time to time. Isn't this a bit of an overreaction? At the same time, foreign media pointed out that China's launch aims to build a constellation to provide data for global weather forecasts. Services may even include short-term earthquake forecasts, according to its press statement. Let's take a look at the significance of the successful launch of a sea rocket. There are so many benefits. One is more security. We all know that every time a rocket is launched on land, there are huge safety risks. The first and second stage rockets and fairings pose a great threat to people and buildings in the landing area. It can be said that whether it hits people and buildings on the ground every time depends on luck. Because of this, China later built a new space launch site in Wenchang, Hainan, which is close to the sea. One of its purposes is to solve the safety problem of the landing area. There are only ships on the sea, and their dispersion density is far less than tens of thousands of times on the ground, which greatly increases the safety of the landing area. Second, get rid of dependence on fixed launch bases. China's Jiuquan, Xichang, and Wenchang launch sites each require a large area of land, various types of infrastructure, and a large number of personnel. There is another major problem with ground launches, and that is the transportation of huge rockets from the workshop to the launch pad, which is also a difficult task. The most important problem is that it is severely restricted by climate. By using ships to launch satellites at sea, you can choose the appropriate launch location and time anytime and anywhere as needed, Getting rid of the various dependencies and constraints of land launches and being able to flexibly choose launch points. Third, improve launch efficiency and economy. In the future, satellites launched from the sea can take advantage of the higher linear rotation speed of the Earth near the equator to save the energy required by the rocket, increase the payload of the rocket or reduce the mass of the rocket. Fourth, achieve rapid response and supplementation. The Gravity One rocket launched from the sea is a solid launch vehicle. It has the advantages of simple structure, low manufacturing cost, convenient storage, short preparation time, and easy transportation. Therefore, it is particularly suitable for rapid response and supplementary satellite missions. Taken together, China has executed the launch of this mission perfectly, and it may also provide assistance to China's satellite network construction in the future. China will build two constellations. One is a constellation of about 13,000 satellites code named GW, and the other is a constellation code named G60 with about 15,000 satellites. With them, the launch will inevitably be faster. And in June 2024, China's reusable rocket will also arrive and will conduct its first flight test. Once successful, the strength of China's rocket market will reach a higher level, so this is very exciting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.